My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Before Sunrise and I did, did watch this movie a few years back and I thought it was fine. I didn't get all the love that it receives but I just re-watched it for the first time and yeah like this movie works much 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 better for me now. Um, this is a kind of movie that's uh, been imitated quite a few times. Uh, there is a movie called Shit House, and uh, Chris Evans directed a movie called Before We Go that tries to capture what this movie did. And like those two movies are fine, they're not bad, but this movie is just on a whole other level. Like this movie is the real deal. Just a movie about these two people walking around, talking about stuff, and I was just into it the entire time. I just love hearing these conversations about life and love and culture and just everything else they discuss. You know, there is a bit of pretentiousness to it, but I like how it just shows that these characters are flawed. They're young and I really dug that aspect of this movie and the setting, this city that they walk around in just feels so brought to life. They utilize it in every sense and how this location now has meaning to these two people and I feel like that was captured beautifully at the very end of this movie. But what really stands out here is the two lead performances. Ethan Hawke is just fantastic here. He's charming, a bit pretentious, a bit douchey every now and again, but he's still very likable and he feels authentic the entire time. But my favorite performance is Julia Dupie. Um, I think um, she's just so relentlessly charming and likable and just very vibrant and also a fully realized character and I just thought these two actors elevated these two characters to every possible degree and their romance, their chemistry, you buy into it. You know, there's just so many great moments of the characters looking or not looking at each other well. You totally buy into the fact that these two people have fallen in love. Uh, my favorite scene in the movie is just uh, this small moment where they're listening to music in a listening booth. And it's just so charming and irresistible. And because you care for these two characters, you're just waiting for the inevitable. For the end of this movie where they have to go their separate ways and you're dreading it and when it gets there, it's like an emotional gut punch. Once again, amazing performances where like you can tell the characters don't want to let go of each other. Well, Ethan Hawke, Jesse will say that, um, this is hard and they'll be stuttering and there's a certain sense of urgency and you've just come to realize how much you care for these two characters and it just hits you like a gut punch and really well done in that regard. Um, my only real issue with this movie is that I do think it has some pacing issues every now and again especially in the last act. I feel like you could have trimmed off about five minutes, but I still love this movie. I love these conversations. I love this city. I love these two characters and their chemistry. I love the performances. It's a very well-directed movie by Richard Linklater. Uh, this movie is just great. Highly recommend it and I'll give Before Sunrise an 8 out of 10. Okay, have you seen Before Sunrise? What did you think? 
Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin out.